Are you obsessed with Taylor Swift or Noah Khan? Do you love Sabrina Carpenter and her luscious curtain bangs? Well, you're in luck because we'll be making slimes inspired by some of the most iconic artists of today. We have Taylor Swift, No Con, Sabrina Carpenter, and Harry Styles. Let's get started. Taylor has so much music. Her discography literally goes all the way back to 2006. So to represent everything she's done, I'm going to start off with a white cloud slime divided up into seven pieces so that we can take each of these pieces and dye a little bit different color to represent each of her most popular albums and her eras. Starting off with her latest album, Midnights, which actually has one of my favorite songs from her called Mastermind, we're going to dye part of that slime a dark purple color and mix that in. It doesn't seem dark enough with just the purple, so I'm gonna add a tiny bit of black dye and continue mixing. Next up, we'll do orange to represent her album Evermore. This album really gives fall to me, and in the album itself, Taylor is actually wearing an orange flannel, so I felt like this was definitely the best color for the album. Although, the orange did turn out a little bit too bright and was kind of giving orange crimsicle instead of Evermore, but we'll roll with it. Next up, we have another one of Taylor's fall album called Folklore. Since we already did orange for Evermore, I decided to do the only other logical color for fall, which is brown. So I added a little bit of brown in, mixed that up, and we're on to our next album. Now, moving on to her album Red, I'm sure you can guess what color I'm going to dye this album, so I'm just going to start mixing. Right after red, we're moving on to Reputation, and of course, for this album, we had to dye the slime black. After Reputation, we're moving on to 1989, where I decided to dye the slime blue for this album. Not really inspired by her original release of 1989, but of course, her latest Taylor's version of 1989. Okay, we're almost done dyeing the slimes. We only have two more albums left. We're going to go with a cute light pink for Taylor's album, Lover, to perfectly resemble the pink clouds on the album cover. Making this slime takes me back to when I was at our concert screaming the bridge of Cruel Summer. And then finally, for Taylor's last album, we'll do light purple for one of her most iconic albums in my opinion, Speak Now, which also has two of my other favorites from Taylor, Better Than Revenge, and Dear John. Phew! Okay, that was a lot of slime we just dyed. Let's now line it all up and then combine all these colors. The method of combining slimes is always super cool. It reminds me of these candy shops that roll out these taffy in a similar way. Anyway, after I rolled out the slime enough where the colors were properly combined, I cut off a piece to fit into a slime container and then added it in. I added on our custom Taylor Swift label, of course, and then it was time to add on the clays and charms. To top off Taylor's slime, we of course made a little white cat clay add-on because we all know she loves her cats. We also of course had to make a red scarf to throw it back to her song, All Too Well. Jake Gyllenhaal, we thank you for giving us some inspiration for this slime today. We're also going to add some cute red sunglass charms because Taylor would absolutely wear these sunglasses in her music video 22 and some heart charms. This slime turned out super cute, but really curious to see what the final color of this slime will be, so let's get into squishing. next artist we're going to make slime for is Noah Khan. Noah's music is more on the folksy side, so I want to give him a bass that really gives granola essence. I want to look at this and say, yeah, that's Vermont if it was a slime. So for him, we're going to go with a crunchy bingsu bass and dye some of it both dark and light green inspired by nature. 
and basically just leaves and trees. After dyeing these slimes, we're going to add them into our container and add on our custom Noah Khan label. And now it's time for our clay add-ons. For this Noah Khan slime, we made some cute red flannel and of course some sticks for the album that literally put him on the map, stick season. We're also going to add some cute leaf charms to further add to that outdoorsy tree vibes we have going on, as well as some snowflake charms inspired by his song, Northern Attitude. Okay, quick dip into these leaf charms and then we'll add on our flannel and the excessive amount of sticks we made for this slime. All right, I can confirm this is giving Vermont and I think Noah would absolutely love it. Time to squish. Next up, we have Sabrina Carpenter. I've been loving her songs recently and Sabrina is always wearing the cutest, sparkliest outfits on stage all the time. So I want to start off with some clear slime and add in a little bit of pink dye as well as some silver glitter. Let's mix that up and then take some more cloud slime and also dye that a pink color. Finally, we'll also take a little bit of that Bingsu slime from earlier and also dye it, you guessed it, pink. Sabrina Carpenter's on stage aesthetic is just super cute to me, so come on guys, pink was the way to go. For Sabrina's clay add-ons, we went with some of her iconic white chunky boots and of course her signature white microphone with a red heart on it. For our charms, we simply went with some red broken heart charms for, of course, all of the incredible sad girl bops she makes. Now, let's build a slime. We'll first add in the Bingsu slime as our base layer and then top that off with a glittery clear slime. We're also going to top off with our cloud slime and then even more glitter. Before adding our clay add-on, let's first add our custom Sabrina Carpenter label and then finish the slime off with our cute white boots and the microphone clay add-ons. And then we're done! I think this one is my favorite so far. It's so pretty and glittery. I'm super excited to squish this, so let's get into it. The last artist we're going to make a slime for is none other than our favorite British icon, Harry Styles. For Harry, let's first start off with a white butter slime base and dye a part of that light pink. After mixing that together, we'll take some more white slime and dye this portion cute neon green. And lastly, let's take more of that slime and dye it light orange color. For Harry, I just really wanted to combine a couple of different colors because he's always dressed in super colorful outfits. I was also feeling really inspired by all of his fruit themes in his album, which definitely worked out because these colors were totally giving sherbet vibes, which, you know what, I bet Harry would love. After I used a similar ruling method from earlier, I cut up the slime into few pieces and then added some of that into our container. Thank you. 
I added on our custom Harry Styles label, which of course features him wearing one of his iconic boas. Then it was time to add the clay add-ons. We're going to top off the slime first with this cute sunflower clay add-on to represent his song Sunflower Volume 6, and a small clock of course to represent Harry's song Sign of the Times. Before topping our slime, we'll add in various fruit charms since some of his songs always have to do with fruits for some reason, like watermelon, sugar, and kiwi. Of course, we also have to add butterfly charms for his legendary butterfly tattoo. You know which one I'm talking about. And then we're done. I love how cute and pastel this slime turned out. Honestly, this one's my second favorite. Okay, time to squish. Taylor, Noah, Sabrina, and Harry, I hope you guys like these slimes. If any of you guys would like to have one of these slimes, shoot me a DM because I will personally hand deliver it to you. Comment below which slime was your favorite and which celebrities we should make a slime for next. And as always, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you guys don't miss out on our future videos, and make sure to shop our weekly Friday restocks at 6 p.m. Central Time, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!